Seatbelts ensure that all passengers will have a safe ride. If you do not wear your seatbelt, then you are more than likely to fly through the windshield of the vehicle that you are in. Also, the airbag is way less effective if you are not wearing a seatbelt. People usually argue that they aren't going a very far distance, therefore they don't really need to wear their seatbelt because they trust themselves enough to not wreck their vehicle. But I don't see how this argument is logical because how can you as a driver trust anyone else on the road? Because you don't know if other drivers are have been drinking and driving or are intoxicated. Another reason that people don't buckle up is because they believe in personal freedom. And people don't like to be told what to do, so they defy their government by not wearing their seatbelt. When you don't buckle up, then you are more than likely going to fly through the windshield of the vehicle that you are in. And this could lead to fatality. See, the seatbelt is the only thing that stops you from moving at the same speed of the vehicle. If not, then you're headed straight through the windshield. Let's say that the vehicle is going 55 miles per hour and all of a sudden the driver comes to a halting stop. Well, your body is still going to be moving at 55 miles per hour unless something is stopping you, like a seatbelt. The seatbelt keeps you in your seat and stops you from going at the same speed. The airbag is useless if you're not buckled up. It's meant to be, to have, it's meant to have a seatbelt on so that you remain in your seat and the airbag can keep you safe by pushing up against you and giving you an extra padding. But if you're not buckled up, then this the airbag is just going to be come at you at the same speed or even faster and your speed is also and they'll collide. Um, the seatbelts keep you from banging against parts of your car like the door, your middle console, your steering wheel, even the roof. Your body will probably slam into the, these parts of your car and it'll hurt more than if you were to just be wearing a seatbelt. Your chances of getting a concussion from not buckling up are very high. Um, wearing a seatbelt will stop you from rolling and tossing your body into other passengers of the vehicle. This could honestly hurt because your body is is heavy and your passengers or the people sitting next to you do not wanna feel your weight being tossed around because you're not buckled up. And the only way to stay safe is to simply buckle up and wear your seatbelt. When you wear your seatbelt, it guarantees that all passengers will remain safe in the vehicle. Not just you, but all. You are going to hurt the people next to you and it it's not very fun to be more hurt than and go, go through trauma of being in a car crash. Wearing a seatbelt could ultimately save your life and the people around you. Seatbelts actually allow the human body to defy the laws of inertia and gravity. Isn't that pretty cool? I honestly, I would just feel just awful. No, more than awful if you were in my vehicle and I crashed and you weren't wearing your seatbelt and I killed you. And you would probably feel just as bad, if not even worse, if I wasn't wearing my seatbelt in your car and you crashed and killed me. Unless, of course, you're a psychopath. Seatbelts will allow you to be more alert and prepared in manic situations. People who are wearing their seatbelt are less likely to have a concussion, and people who weren't wearing their seatbelt are more likely to be concussed. If the vehicle is lights on fire or is being submerged in water, then the person wearing their seatbelt is going to be, it has a higher rate of survival than the person who was not wearing one. Um, seatbelts are the number one vehicle safety device ever. According to GEICO, seatbelts are credited as saving up to 9,500 lives per year. 97% of the time, seatbelts will save your life in a car accident. And I am so sorry to the 3% that will die from wearing their seatbelt in their car. There have been studies proving that wearing a seatbelt will reduce injury rates and lower the rate of death by car accidents. In 2007, there were 37, 133 people who died in motor vehicle crashes. 47% were not wearing their seatbelt. 
This means that 17,492 people died because they decided not to buckle up. It's the law to wear a seatbelt at all times in the vehicle, inside of your vehicle. And I think that it would be messed up if I got pulled over and you were not wearing your seatbelt in my car because it makes the driver look bad and seem more irresponsible. Um, the cost of an adult seatbelt violation is $162. The cost of a child's under the age of 16 is $490. And if the parent isn't present in the vehicle, then the driver gets the ticket of the child under the age of 16. You know how much money for $490 is? You know what I could do with that? I could do a lot. I could. In conclusion, you should always wear a seatbelt while driving in your car. And you should make your passengers buckle up too. This will lower death rates and injury rates of motor vehicle crashes and save more lives per year. You should always drive with safety and proceed, proceed with caution. And always remember to buckle up, strap in, click it or ticket, wear your seatbelt.